G'day guys, welcome to today's video. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you guys through my bike, my touring bike. It's a Surly Long Haul Trucker. Show you guys around it like what I take on a bicycle tour. I just recently got back from Tasmania, cycling around Tasmania. That was my most recent bike tour and pretty much everything that's set up on this bike at the moment is what I took on the tour with some exceptions because I have just repacked the bike just for this video so I can show you guys what I have. So it won't include things like food and things like that that you probably have to buy you know, as you go on the bike tour and stuff. But having that said, I have had quite a few questions regarding if I can show you guys what my bike touring setup looks like and I just recently got a comment from Manu on a video it's a really awesome comment that I would love to read out but it would take a bit of time to cover it all but essentially he was saying CP and I kind of changed his perspective on traveling and biking and he feels like he's entered a whole new universe and he's loving it and one of the PS's in the comment was I'd love to see a video about your touring setup on your Surly so just a bit of a backstory if you guys aren't aware about this channel and what I'm about here Tasmania was my third bicycle tour my first one was the United States, which was my first introduction to bicycle touring. A very amateur attempt at cycling across the state because it was very unplanned and I was not ready for it. But then the second attempt was Japan, cycling through Japan. It was a lot more improved and Tasmania is my third tour. And hopefully there's many more to come. I am possibly planning to do a cycle around Australia as well in maybe this year or next. I'm not 100% sure, but that would be super awesome to do. But just so you guys know, like I have made some progress from where I started. But I think I have a picture of the touring bike that I used in the States and the setup that I used. It kind of had a bit of a mountain. It's like I was riding with a mountain right on the back of the bike. Very unprofessional and still to this day, I'm not professional. I'm just showing you guys what my setup looks like. So I think that's about it. So let's get into the the bike and uh, we'll have a look at it. If you guys notice, I only have back panniers. I did cycle with front panniers with my first few tours, but I've managed to just be fine with having less stuff. So being minimalistic on a bike is pretty much super key. You don't want to cart around heaps of stuff that you're not going to use. Like that's just probably the worst thing to do is just cart around heaps of stuff that is going to weigh you down on the bike and you probably won't even use that stuff as well. So you got to be very particular with, with what you choose. Also, I should mention if you are interested in purchasing any of these items to show you guys i'll have affiliate links down below in the comment section so you can buy them there but most of the stuff that i have purchased a few things have been brand new from retail shops but majority of the stuff that i have here even the bike itself has been purchased secondhand so i should give you guys just a quick backstory about the surly so essentially i wanted to make this another video but I might just quickly tell you guys about the story of this. I picked up the Surly from a cash converters, which is essentially a pawn shop here in Australia. They had it for sale and to be honest, the thing was beat. It had all really bad components. Like someone took a nice functioning touring bike, you know, elite, like top of the range Surly branded touring bike and they've just stripped everything off it and only put crap parts on it essentially so i was just stuck with a good touring frame and the rest of the stuff was pretty bad so i had to make some changes here and there the bike from memory i picked up for 200 dollars i might show you guys the bike itself before i get into all the the other stuff that i have on the bike all right so let's start at the front so i have some front racks here which is what i did use for some front panniers so i have a black navara touring fork at the front here on a surly long haul trucker bike which is the frame and then i have some butterfly b bars on here which i did purchase on wiggle.com which is a pretty cheap online resource to buy bicycle parts and and anything really bicycle related so i'll have links down below for that change this to put these shimano asira components on so we've got the front and back brakes here it is a seven speed on this side and on this side it's a three speed and the pedals these were original from cash converters so these probably aren't original to the bike itself however these are pretty cool just to ride with something like these shoes just very casual i'm also rocking some swimmable range cruiser tires on back and front these are very good tires i'm gonna have to upgrade these tires because they're being a bit worn this bike is not in condition to go for another bike tour i need to fix it up and do some adjustments here and there to get it running perfectly then the rear components we have is the shimano asira I think that's how you pronounce it i brought these brand new however the front here is uh, what the person had on this bike when i brought it used which is definitely not the best and i think i might upgrade this for my next tour possibly and pretty much that wraps up the bike itself so now i'm going to get into 
the items that I have on the bike that I take with me on a tour. So I do have a saddle bag up here. This includes all of the tools that I need for the bike to pull the bike apart if I'm gonna fly with the bike and put it back together, etc. So it has things like Allen keys, it has spanners, it has all the necessities for tools for a bike, even a spare tube and repair kit and things like that. Then also if you guys can see just down here on the side, I have Velcro attached a pump which is a super handy pump that just pulls off like this and then it comes out like that you pull that up it has a little stand thing here where you can stand on it and pump and it's a really awesome lightweight pump that does the job pretty well then also up there i have a handlebar bag which is pretty much all the daily use items the small daily use items that i can store in there so pretty much things like snacks a mobile phone and things like that so the brand for this is Bell. Looking inside, I have a Sony charger, portable charger. This thing is great for keeping the phone charged on the go. You get a few full charges, maybe a couple of charges of the phone on this thing. It's really good when you go camping when there's nowhere to charge or anything like that. And we also got the good old trusty phone. Also wallet and stuff goes in there. Headlamp goes in there as well. It's good to have this easily accessible at camp and things like that when you need to look around in the dark and stuff. And also, considering I was in Tassie, we have a Tassie map in here. And like I said, I still got snacks in here, barley sugars, and which was the main snack in Tassie. Then spare bike lights and things like that. Chapstick. And that is pretty much it. So having a look on the back setup of the bike, I have a tent yoga mat which is what i use for a mattress and some shoes which is normally what i attach to the back of the bike this is normally all fastened on the back of the bike with a, a jockey strap or a tie down strap so the tent is just a high country brand tent which is australian brand two man then just a thrifted yoga mat which cost me like three bucks from the thrift then all there is left is these two panniers at the back they are ortlib waterproof classic black bags, very big bags. I'm not sure what liters these are, but I think it's pretty much super important to have waterproof bags on bike tours and so you can get caught out in the rain so many times. And there has been a heap of times where I've been caught in the rain that I really was glad that I have waterproof bags to keep all of my stuff dry. But let's get into the bags and I'll show you guys what's inside. So this is pretty much bag one. Not exactly all of the clothing that I would take. I might take a few more pieces of clothing here and there, but this is just what I got just for the example for the video. So I'll take some pants, some shirts, a light jacket, and also pretty important a cycling nicks to add for more protection when you're on the bike, which is always handy to prevent chafing and things like that. My normal setup is very casual. It's just these nicks with some shorts like these with the nicks underneath. And then we've got some sunscreen or AeroGuard or anything like that. Some toilet paper, you need that stuff. Also, got a lock for the bike, which one thing I realized is you don't really need that when you're in Japan because it's a super safe country and people are just so honest. But if you just want that certainty, it's probably better just to have a lock just in case. Then moving over here, we have the camp stove, which is a Trangia. So essentially this unpacks, you get a plate, and you also get one of these, which I did find out just recently. These are called a spondonical. Of all things, it's called a spondonical. And then knife and fork is always handy. Then inside here you get a teapot. And then this is the fuel system where you put your flammable liquid in this. And you'll need some matches as well if you're going to do this. Um, and then light it up. A couple of bowls in there. And then this just comes out like this. You take that off and then... That just goes on like that, pretty much. And then also here we have the fuel for the Trangia. So this is a bottle that comes with the Trangia. So it keeps the liquid sealed and safe for storage. Also have a travel pillow. This thing's pretty cool. So it's the same brand as the tent. But essentially, that just comes out. And you got yourself a pretty nifty little pillow. Spare socks, underwear and all that kind of stuff. And this thing is also pretty cool. I didn't take this on my Tasmania tour, but it is a pretty 
cool alternative for say a bicycle box or anything like that when you're traveling. So this is a bike packing bag. So I don't want to pull it out because it's pretty difficult to get back in but essentially it's just a bag that when you pack up your bike you can store it in this bag when you put it on the plane or anything like that. Moving on to the second pannier bag. We have a bag inside a bag and then the other thing I have in this bag is just my sleeping bag. So this sleeping bag brand is a Roman and it's a zero degrees Celsius sleeping bag, which does the job pretty well for me. But let's get into this bag. I think it's a really cool idea to have a backpack that has all of your day usage items, so the things you're gonna use on a daily basis in there, that are also valuable to you as well. So then you can just whip it out of here when you go into shops and things like that. So in the front, we have a GoPro. I should also mention that you guys probably won't have the exactly the same items as what I do considering I'm documenting on YouTube and putting up videos of my adventures and things like that. So I'm gonna have things like a laptop and cameras and possibly drones and things like that that, that aren't really needed if you're just doing it just for the sake of doing so. So yeah, we got the GoPro here. Then I have an extendable stick that I use to get you know different perspective angles with the GoPro, which do awesome. Then just some charging cables. Now in here we have my laptop. Don't forget to subscribe. So laptop I use is a pretty lightweight one, which is awesome for bike touring, I find. It's just the, I think 11 inch MacBook Air, and it does awesome for me. And then I just have some other pieces here, like a hard drive to store video files on and things like that, photos, some earphones, these are so much better and lightweight than having things like headphones or something like that. Then also just this converter thing for my SD card. And I also will pack my camera, which I'm filming on at the moment, with this tripod as well, which I normally just put on the back of the bike with the sleeping bag. Then I also just have, you know, the necessities like a helmet and also a drinking bottle. Maybe a few more if I'm going somewhere like across the desert or something like that but yeah guys however that concludes the video i hope you guys got some value from it this is what i take on a bike tour and it works pretty well for me and this is probably everything that i have to take with me to to keep me sustained on the bike tour so if you guys enjoyed it give me a thumbs up also put some comments down below if you have any more suggestions on videos you would like to watch this one was a really cool topic and i really enjoyed creating this video so thank you guys for watching see you in the next one bye